You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Monday, the Monday after the long Thanksgiving holiday week. It was a beautiful week, too. I mean, it was really enjoyable. I, my husband and I drove our bikes along the seawall, uh, went down to the Strand. I mean, it was just very enjoyable, great weather. And now we're in the midst of Christmas and all that brings. So uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about... I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News, downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio, 90... 90- <laughs> FM 104.5, 106.1, IRLoneStar.com, forward slash Conroe Culture. And we are here every Monday at noon. So we have a lot of events, being that this is the Christmas season upon us. We have a lot of events going on in downtown Conroe. So much. And a lot of it is all this week. Of course, it's ongoing, and we'll have some more going on uh, next week and through the month. But my guests today will all talk a little bit about their upcoming events. And uh, we will hear from Brett Hall first with the Conroe Art League. And he's going to tell us about some of the things that the Conroe Art League has going on, and they have several things starting tomorrow, as a matter of fact. And uh, Tyler Stuckey of the Tyler Stuckey Band, he will be our next guest and uh, play a little bit of music for us, a little taste of what to hear at the Corner Pub playing this Saturday. And then we're going to hear from Ron Sikowski all about everything else downtown Conroe. He is the treasurer for the Conroe Downtown Area Association that puts on a lot of events and works with all the different venues and uh, the restaurants and anything that's going on downtown Conroe. So we're going to hear about some great upcoming events. So, of course, tomorrow starts it off, November 28th, with the annual tree lighting at Heritage Park. If you haven't been to that before, you need to go. Uh, it, it's only like 30 minutes long from 6.30 to 7 p.m. And Heritage Park kind of is between Frasier, uh, Metcalf, and I don't know what that other street is on the side there. But it just borders around. And there's an amphitheater there. There's going to be kids singing Christmas carols. The gigantic tree that's already there at Heritage Park is just getting ready to be lit up. And I'm not sure who's turning on the switch, but the mayor will be there to say a few words. And then after that, there's going to be a new event called Christmas on Main that's happening. And it's not just on Main Street, which is two blocks away, an easy walk. But it's going to be at the Owen Theater, the Crichton Theater, the Conroe Art League, Conroe Coffee, Conroe Culture, Brownlee's Jewelry Store. There's going to be the Jazz Connection music playing starting at 7 p.m. right after the tree lighting that'll be at Founders Park over by the Owen Theater. And there's going to be a couple of uh, booths set up for tamales from Carmelita's. You don't want to miss that. Flourish will be there with a booth set up and Pacific Yard House. And also, as an added attraction, everyone, all the adults that are at the tree lighting will receive a wooden token to drop in their favorite venue window decorate, decorated uh, decorated window in downtown Conroe. There's over 20 different venues that are participating. I believe the Conroe Art League is participating, and there's a bunch of them. And so the, the participants at the tree lighting will get a wooden token and they will also receive a little ballot that shows them all the different venues that are participating. And you can walk through downtown and see these wonderful Christmas decorations, just like an old fashioned Christmas. Santa is going to be at Mimi's on Main. The night before Christmas is going to be read outside there by the Red Onion on the square and he will also be doing a prize giveaway for a couple of bikes. So you're also going to get tickets. You keep one half and you put the other one in this um, round till, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a bingo thing where you put the tickets in. And the mayor will draw for two different bikes, a boy's bike and a girl's bike. Well, over $200 each at 815 at Founders Plaza. And there's going to be... 
like four other drawings for uh, restaurants and things like that. So you want to stay there because you have to be present to win. So all of this free fun stuff is happening tomorrow, starting with the annual tree lighting at Heritage Park at 630. And then the Christmas on Main starts at 7. We're going to hear from uh, Brett Hall in just a few minutes about some of the events going on at the Conroe Art League starting this week uh, through the month. And uh, we're going to hear some fine music. So tonight, though, you can listen to Fred McIntosh with Charles Peters at the Red Brick. And you can hear Caleb and the Homegrown Tomatoes at the Corner Pub as they host open mic, as they do every Monday night. <clears throat> and then uh, Friday, there's the new performances are happening this week on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And those are Little Women, the musical at the Owen Theater starting Friday. And a Charlie Brown Christmas at the Crichton Theater. Both are going to have sellout performances. So you need to book ahead, get online, and get your tickets. Philip Griffin Band will be at the Red Brick Tavern Friday night. Sherry Lava will be at Pacific Yard House. Zach Aaron and Kayla Ray will be at the Corner Pub. And uh, then there's a mini art show and two girls, a guy, and a trailer that's going to be happening the two girls, a guy in a trailer, is with Conroe Central Market, uh, Hilson's Design Services, and Conroe Art Gallery. And they are going to start on that Friday night with a reception and live music, and art giveaways. And they also have some artwork that is done monthly by special needs adults. Deborah Cruz with Designs by Deborah Cruz, that's on the corner of Metcalf and Maine. We'll have an open house starting Friday, December 1st from 10 to 9. So she will uh, also be open on Tuesday night for the Christmas on Main. And uh, so it's going to coincide with art display. And she has a few pieces of her own art in the store as well. And she does Christmas decorating. So if you have a venue, a commercial business, or even your home, and you want you don't want to do it yourself because it's so time-consuming, Go by and see Deborah Cruz at Designs by Deborah on the corner of Metcalf and Maine. So Saturday night is also the Southern Star Music and Arts Festival, and that is hosted by the Conroe Downtown Area Association with local bands, art vendors, food trucks, fire pits, and, of course, Southern Star Beer. What would it be without having Southern Star Craft Beer there? So the tickets are $20 at the gate, but $15 in advance, and you can get it from a lot of the downtown uh, venues here. I know Corner Pub has some. Um, I'm not sure if Lone Star Radio has some, but the Corner Pub has some. Lone Star does have some tickets available, and they're only $15 if you get them before the event. Pacific Yard House, Cowtown Couture, Bramley's Jewelers, the Branding Iron, they all are selling tickets. So go by and get them because the band lineup is phenomenal. It's Folk Family Revival, Caleb and the Homegrown Tomatoes, The Great Trumpet, Stump Juice, Mike Amabile and Run Over Twice, Feel the Bronze, and Kenny the Spider. These guys, these bands are all local. I say guys affectionately. There's some girls in there too. But they're all local, local people. And so let's keep that thought of small town businesses and shopping local and listening local, doing local art, buying from local artists, all of that. And so that is Saturday starts at noon and goes till midnight. <clears throat> Sunday, uh, we have uh, the Jim Sloan Trio will be doing Gospel Sunday Brunch at the Red Brick Tavern, as they do most Sundays, and continuing with Little Women, the musical, and a Charlie Brown Christmas. So as though there's some fun things going on, we're going to take a quick break and hear from my first guest. And again, I am Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News, downtown Conroe. Hey guys, I'm Joey Savage. Corey DLG. We are Nerd Thug Radio. Catch us every Monday from 1 to 3 and check out our website, nerdthugradio.com. We like to talk about quilting, horseback riding, and baking quiche. Actually, we don't, but we do like talking nerdy to you. That's right. Every Monday from 1 to 3 p.m., hashtag talking nerdy to you. A Lone Star Community Radio is ready for the summer. If you or anyone you know is looking for summer internship opportunities, the Lone Star Community Radio is a great place to grab the mic and be on the air. The Lone Star Community Radio offers a great opportunity to those interested in learning about the radio world all year round. Be an on-air personality, talk show producer, or YouTube TV podcast editor. Contact the station at info 
at IRLoneStar.com or call the station's message line at 936-647-3776. Margie Taylor of Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio, downtown Conroe, every Monday at noon, FM 104.5, 106.1. You can also find us on Conroe Culture News on Facebook, or you can send me an email if you'd like to be a guest on my show. I love having guests. We usually have three or four guests, and my email is margie at taylorizedpr.com. I'm also looking for sponsors. It doesn't cost that much. But the thing of it is you get so many shouts out, shout outs during the show. You get a little 30, 45 second commercial video that's going to be in the YouTube. You're on the uh, page that we have with IR Lone Star. Um, so your sponsorship lasts and lasts and keeps giving. And it's all about the relationships, right? So if somebody's speaking about you like me and referring you out, that's a good thing. So check us out, Conroe Culture News on IRLoneStar.com. So we are here with my first guest, Brett Hall, and he is with the Conroe Art League. Hey, Brett. Hey, thank you. Uh, We're going to be having uh, something that uh, is a uh, change from all the commercialism that you've experienced over the last three or four days with Black Friday and Cyber Monday and et cetera. Starting tomorrow night with the tree lighting ceremony, we're kicking off our Christmas is Forgiving show. This is the first time we've done it, and we're uh, partnered with Chris Pfeiffer over at Homestead House Furniture, who for years has had his Toys for Kids campaign. And he raises money to buy bikes and uh, top brand toys for the kids of Conroe that might not be able to afford those. And the kind of cool thing about it is that, you know, a lot of times these toy drives, the kids get whatever somebody throws in a box, but Chris goes out and buys the best stuff he can buy. And uh, then also has a passion that every kid should have a bike. So uh, this year, uh, we're... Get him out of the house, right? (laughs) Well, that too. (laughs) That too. But uh, this year, we're uh, donating our 20% commission that the gallery usually charges the artists for their sales and giving it all to Chris and the Toys for Kids campaign. So uh, uh, we're going to kick it off Tuesday night, right after the tree lighting ceremony, and it'll run all through the month of December. Uh, Now, uh, on Friday then of this week, uh, we're going to be one of the three locations for the uh, Christmas extravaganza, the two girls and a guy and a trailer uh, show. So uh, we'll have them in the gallery, uh, five of their artists in the gallery, Friday, Saturday, and for a brief uh, after church kind of brunch time Mm -hmm. uh, show on Sunday. Uh, Then we'll rotate out. And we're bringing in a a second part of our show, uh, replacing that mini show with uh, what we're calling smalls, affordable art. And so it's uh, art that's uh, $125 or less. Uh, So it makes it a little more affordable for people. And a lot of our artists, every artist I know has a closet full of art at home. (laughs) And so I do. (laughs) In, in fact, to give you an idea of the value, the bargain, uh, if you will, I've got five pieces uh, in the small show that uh, are normally $350. I've got them priced at $100 and 125 so kind of my own Black Friday special, I guess. There you go. There but you go. Uh, it makes it affordable. And the cool thing about this is that when you buy art uh, through this show, you're really giving in three ways. Number one, you're supporting the local economy buying from a local artist. It's handmade. It's not churned out of a machine. And art is somewhat timeless. It's not like the latest tech thing that's going to be outmoded next year, uh, obsolete. It's not uh, clothing that is going to go out of fashion. It's uh, something that uh, lasts forever. And there's jewelry, there's pottery, as well as the uh, visual art. Secondly, when you buy, you're giving that 20% to the uh, Toys for Kids campaign. And uh, lastly, you're giving a unique gift uh, for uh, 
uh, whomever you might be giving that to, even if it's yourself. It's uh, something nobody else is going to have. Everybody's going to have, you know, the uh, Nintendo Switch, and they're all going to be the same or whatever, but this is going to be a one of a kind. So it's a neat opportunity, affordable art, helping the kids, helping the local economy. Well, it's always a good idea to get something fun and creative. I know I try to do that with any gift giving. I mean, I don't, just don't buy random things unless it's for the very, very small grandkids, you know, because adults, it just means more if you can exchange something that has uh, some kind of memories behind it or something that's unique, something like that you don't find at the mall. I mean, I can't even tell you the last time I've been to the mall. I just don't do that. You know, I think it's more about what you said, getting unique things from um, local artists, local merchants, things like that. So it sounds really intriguing. So you said that there's going to be jewelry, pottery, and also the visual art. Yep. What what forms of art as far as the visual is it? I know sometimes you have a theme. Is there a theme to this one? No, no special theme. It's uh, across the board, but uh, a number of our artists are jewelers. A number are potters. There's a wood carver. Uh, he's probably going to have a bunch of uh, uh, hand-carved Santas that are very popular. That's cool. And uh, so some will be certainly bringing Christmas-themed things just uh, because that's what they want to do. But, uh, you know, the other cool thing about this was that uh, the mayor uh, reached out to you, Margie, and uh, Margie came to a Greater Conroe Arts Alliance meeting and uh, said, hey, the mayor called me for help. He wants to have a big Christmas thing downtown, and he's calling on all the art organizations to participate. So here comes the Crichton uh, with Charlie Brown characters out on the street. Here comes uh, the uh, Jazz Connection. Here comes the Owen Theater with uh, pieces. Here comes the Art League with this special show. So it's uh, a great uh, display of the arts, uh, rich arts community that's here in Conroe and uh, them all banding together to uh, really... It's a good collaboration of all the different pieces that people may not realize are all working together. And that's what I like about the, Con the Greater Conroe um, Art Alliance as well, is that it, it, is, it collaborates 12, 15 different organizations all working together for one purpose, to get out the word. You know, so you're right. You're absolutely right. We're having a... a literal collaboration uh, coming up with the Crichton in that uh, they're coming through the wall. <laughs> if you've been to the Art League, to the Art Gallery, you know we have a great little courtyard in it's the beautiful. back. beautiful, yes. And the back of uh, the wall there is uh, a <laughs> pathway into the Crichton. And so what we envisioned, they, they came over and uh, started painting the wall, and we said, wait a minute, we're an Art League. We're going to do a mural. You're going to put a door oh, nice. in, we're going to do yeah. a mural. So we're going to do a mural on the wall. And what we envision is having the courtyard open to theater goers before the program. They can come in, mm. they can come after dinner or before the show and meet and gather, uh, have a drink or whatever. And uh, we'll do it like the big leagues in downtown Houston. When it's time to go to your seat, we'll ring a little bell. <laughs> and everybody goes. And everybody goes and takes their so seat. So maybe they can come have champagne or something out on the patio and then go back. Right. And but, view, view some art. Well, I was going to say, I mean, that's the big part of it. Instead of just hanging out outside, you know, on the street. Exactly. They can actually be productive and see what you have showing exactly. for that month. You so, know? great collaboration. Yes. I, I love that. I love having that thought. Thank you for that. I, maybe I'll add that in my weekly article. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's all about getting the resources. So um, what else do you have going on? Is there anything else? Or that actually is quite a bit. That's like three events right there. Yeah. And, you know, every month I took uh, on the role of show chairman uh, this year as a relatively new member. And they told me I really didn't have to do anything. But uh not my style. <laughs> so we've had some special shows this year. We had a teacher appreciation show. In January, we're having a, a student show that's open to all the high school seniors in Montgomery County. And uh, it's a competition. The top award is $800. 
Uh, second place is uh, 500, I believe, 400. Uh, well, the big one's 800. And that's third place. And then there's. They'll get cash prizes. Cash prizes. We can't really do a scholarship per se, but it's for them to use in furthering their art education as they go on from high school. It's a nice idea. So we'll have that in January. Uh, we will then have a national invitational in the gallery in March. And this is in conjunction with Arts Week in Conroe. The uh, Young Texas Artists will be in town. Uh, we'll be having Rising Stars and Legends again. And last year, we had the National Invitational. We had uh, entries from 26 states. That's amazing. Over 200 entries, mm -hmm. narrowed down to 50 of the best. And so we're looking forward to that, having uh, really standout art for the entire month of March. And you will have this on the Conroe Art League uh, Facebook and the website. Yep. I know that you also have a monthly reception that's open to the public. Yes. And that is upcoming, isn't it? I believe maybe the 9th? The 9th. Is, it's usually uh, the second Saturday of the month? Correct. And uh, every every month we change out the show. Uh, there's always new work. Uh, that's why many of us have so much in our closet. <laughs> As we just show it for the one month and then uh, we don't show it again Darn. to keep it fresh. <laughs> yes. Keep it uh, keep, keep it, you busy too. Keeps us busy too. But uh, it's a reception. We have uh, beer and wine and uh, finger food every uh, month, and uh, is a great time to come downtown and meet Visit, the artists. Find out, yes, and mingle. All the artists are there and all that. What What is your favorite art to work with? What kind of media do you? Like? Uh, I do acrylic. I do portraits. And uh, I uh, got on a, a kick a while back. I was selling high school yearbooks to Indian schools on reservations and became enamored with the uh, culture and the story and the history. So I do Native American portraits. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Kind of a niche. <clears throat> well, we are going to take another break. And uh, then we'll be on here with the next guest, Tyler Stuckey. But this was Brett Hall with the Conroe Art League. You can go to ConroeArtLeague.com. Um, yes. And they're also Conroe Art League on Facebook. Check it out and go by this week and see all the stuff they have going on. 20% goes back to the kids. I'm Margie Taylor, Conroe Cultural News. We'll be right back. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app from your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's Community Radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That's Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. If you are on the computer, bookmark IRLoneStar.com as your internet radio station. A Lone Star Community Radio. Broadcasting 24-7 from the heart of downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio presents the Lone Star Radio Troupe. This talented cast will perform radio plays right here in the Lone Star Studios located in downtown Conroe. There will be a new performance every first Sunday of the month. And if you miss the broadcast, just go to Lone Star Community Radio's podcast or YouTube anytime during that month. Go to OurLoneStar.com archives to find the Lone Star Radio Troops' latest play that's available. This is Lone Star Community Radio, Conroe's 104.5 FM and 106.1 FM Community Station. Find us on the web at IRLoneStar.com. Lone Star Community Radio is a supporter to the performing arts in Montgomery County, Texas. I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio, downtown Conroe, FM 104.5, 106.1, every Monday at noon. And we are rolling into the second guest now, who's going to play some music for us in a little bit after we chat. And I have Tyler Stuckey here. Hey. hey, Margie, how's it going? It's going well. Excellent, excellent. You got to have a, a pretty busy week in Conroe this week, huh? We're having a wonderful busy week. It's always busy. There's a, that's the thing. People don't realize that every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there's like live music and 
stuff going on, and it's a lot of it is like free too. Oh, I know it. But now the the Crichton and the Owen theaters have their performances this week starting, and of course we have Christmas on Main. Indeed. We have the annual Christmas tree lighting. Right. We have, although it's not downtown Conroe, it's put on by the Conroe Downtown Area Association. The Southern Star Music and Arts Festival. That's going to be great. Which is kind of like a one-day mini um, music festival, like what we had that was three days. Sure. In with fifty-four bands in downtown Conroe in May last year. But anyway, so uh, you come from New Braunfels? Uh, no. Well, I grew up here. Okay. Um, well, I, all right. Uh, yep, Conroe Tiger alumni through and through. And, okay. Uh, I still come back, and I'm playing at the Corner Pub on. Saturday. Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night, 9 to probably about 2 o'clock. Since they have the thing going on at the brewery, I'll probably drag out my set a little bit later so some people can swing by. You'll have some breaks, I'm sure. Ex- uh, one or two. You'll one have a little fun. It's always fun over there at the pub. Oh, it's a great place. That's uh, actually the first place I ever played on stage was at the Corner Pub. Really? Mm-hmm. Was that scary? Uh, it was terrifying. Really? Uh, but I've, you know, that was about 10 years ago. and I've. So you know Rodney Poole? Uh, yes, yes. Is he still Rodney, outside there? Uh, no, I think he walked back oh, on okay. down. He's so funny. Rodney, <laughs> Leanne, they're just great people that are doing great stuff for Conroe. Oh, so absolutely. It's always fun to play down there. It was his vision to have this music festival that we had in May. I went to it, actually. Did you? Yeah, it was fantastic. I it took was. my parents out. We had a great time. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So, uh, so tell me about this music you're going to play for us. Well, this is a song about a... a a thing that happened when I was a kid. Um, so I grew up in Conroe, and when I went to Anderson Elementary in the third Anderson, grade, yes, 1999, I went to school one day, and the teacher said, uh, okay, there's not going to be any recess today because there's two tigers running around, and we're scared that they're going to come out of the playground and grab one of you. Were there really tigers? As a 10-year-old, I was skeptical, <laughs> but, <laughs> but sure enough, I went home, and uh, right there on Channel 2 News, uh, yeah, two tigers had gotten out from a a game preserve, if you uh, will. Okay, they used to have one out Willis area. Yeah, Conroe. Yeah, okay. and so uh, I started googling. I remember this maybe yeah. a couple months ago. I started googling, and there's a great article uh, from the Houston Press called "When the Circus Comes to Town" that kind of tells you the whole story. Interesting. So wow. What, where the tigers, the, who the tigers belong to, uh, how they got out, what eventually happened is, uh, you know. Uh, it, it's never good when a big cat is running around a populated area, especially. I wouldn't think so. No, I just I, or a bear or anything or else. Ba- yeah, any <laughs> lions, tigers, bears, no good. Right, right, right. <laughs> so uh, actually, I remember that the uh, Montgomery County Safari Club mobilized, and uh, there were people on four wheelers riding through Cut and Shoot uh, with high powered rifles because. Really? When else are you going to get to do that, I guess? Uh, <laughs> well, hopefully they were just like tranquilizer guns. They weren't at like the, at the time, shoot them down guns. This is, well, at the time, they go into this in the article, and there were no tranquilizer guns available. Oh. Like anywhere in North Houston. Uh, so one tiger actually got after somebody's hog, and uh, they put it down when that happened. So the other tiger was out there, and everyone was terrified huh. that it was going to go, you know get someone or somebody's dog, something like that. Yeah. So unfortunately what happened is they um, they found the tiger and they put it down uh, judiciously, I would say. But um, through Googling, I saw that almost a pretty similar thing happened in Conroe last year where another tiger got out and was running around. I don't remember that. <laughs> it, it, it happened. Uh, <laughs> and they... They didn't put that tiger down. They got it. I think it went to a game preserve in Tyler. Okay. But through kind of more Googling, this is a pretty frequent occurrence for East Texas. Yeah, it it happened in Tomball. And uh, like I said, I grew up here, and I've never been to someone's house or been invited to go see somebody's tiger. But uh, You need to get with Katie with Bears, etc. She's been on here a couple times. Yes, and she's all about the preserve. Yes, I'm telling you. She knows a lot about what frequents this area. Yeah. She's she's a pretty interesting gal. Katie, well, I'll have to hook you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Give me a number. <clears throat> but so, play me some music. Yeah. So, uh, through seeing the whole story uh, as a songwriter, this is just songwriting gold. I mean, I could sit around for days and not make up something this interesting. Much less I was a party to it when I was a kid. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so you anyway. have history there. Exactly. So, anyway, here's what came out. Okay. Well, 
I remember clearly in the year of 99, one winter day at school when we were not let outside. I asked why and was surprised by the excuse. There's a tiger on the run somewhere and couldn't shoot. Sheriff's looking for his gun And everybody's wondering just where that tiger's from They said there were two And one to kill a hog What a time to be a member of the safari club Well, they're running through the creeks And they're running through the pines Everybody in the county is a-fearing for their lives A mass hysteria But what are we to do? There's a tiger on the run Somewhere and couldn't shoot He heard the tale, but if he crossed that line, well, he'd be sent back to jail. Some cats for preservation, and some of them for stray. They're still working on that gate's post to keep them in their cage. Just as a caretaker, he's of the name of Coo. There's gentle ass kittens, and that's the honest truth. You've taken one down. Let the other live If I could get out of Harris County I'd put an end to this Where well, they're searching with the dogs They could be out all night They're siding in their scopes With the big cat in their sights you need a little more Than your daddy's 22 There's a tiger on the run Somewhere ain't couldn't shoot Now through the whole course of the article they do a pretty good job of telling everybody's story, but they don't tell the tigers, so I thought I'd take that. Well, I had enough of living in this dark and dusty cage when that old man turns his back. Let's make our escape. Well, I sure we're left alive, but we're meant for so much more when we get out of here. Well, we'll finally get to roll. Well, my brother didn't last long, and now I'm filled with grief. Well, the hounds are closed. I'm gonna show my teeth. I charge him 50 bullets, put an end to my rage. But I'd rather have it that way than you go back to that cage. Now, a crowd of 30 citizens and just a couple cops. Everyone is claiming that he fired the first shot. It was for the sake of safety. We did what we had to do. There's a tiger on the run somewhere and couldn't shoot. Now that the story's done is people like to panic and tigers like to run. But really, all in all, in any time or place, if a tiger wants to bad enough, he'll get out of his cage where well, they're running through the creeks. They're running through the pines where they got a taste of freedom, but they pay for it with their lives. If they could get out, well, I'm sure that's what they do. There's another tiger on the run somewhere and couldn't shoot. That was wonderful. I <laughs> well, enjoyed that. You. you also have an audience behind you listening. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, because oh. you know the window's there. Yeah. Oh, hey, yes. yeah. <laughs> right on. Uh, they had thumbs up for you. So oh, thank you. We'll have thank to remind you. them that you're playing at the Corner Pub uh, Saturday night. Mm-hmm. So, and this is great. So people can go to your SoundCloud. Uh, they can go. I, I know I have you a have website. a website. Yeah, that's stuckymusic.com. S-T-U-C-K-E-Y music.com. Yes, ma'am. And it has all your different SoundClouds on there and different right. music and things. Places you're going to be, your calendar. Uh, calendar. You have great music. I listened to some of your songs well, this morning. You. I, really I appreciate like it. it. So, unfortunately, I will be out of town. Uh-huh. I'm not really sure where I'll be. Somewhere between here and Virginia. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is great music. So, you know, there's not even a cover charge. At no, the it's all pub. free. Just come so in and have a good time. So people should go there. And, yeah, I know the Southern Star music thing's going on. But, hey, do both, right? Do both. Why not? You got nothing better to do. So, you're uh, also, uh, you have a Facebook page as yeah. well. Tyler Stuckey Music. 
okay. on Facebook. And okay. Just, Anything yeah. else you want to say? Um, just it's it's great it's to be fun. home for a couple of days, and I'll see y'all next weekend. Fabulous. Hope you'll come back again and play some more music. I would love to. Thank okay. you, Okay. All right. We'll be right back. I'm Margie Taylor, Conroe Culture News, and uh, we'll be back with Ron Sikowski. Attention, movie lovers. The Ticket Stub is a new radio show servicing Montgomery County that is meant for you. The Ticket Stub is available live every Thursday at noon on FM 104.5 and 106.1, as well as anytime on IRLoneStar.com. Connor and Dick will let you know what's coming out in the theater, what is worth streaming, and what's going on in the world of film. The Ticket Stub, your home for movie talk. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show. With monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the message line at 936 Six four seven three seven seven six to take your first step into the radio world. Hello, and we are back. I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News, and we just heard some great music by Tyler Stuckey. And again, he will be performing at the Corner Pub this Saturday night. And there is no cover charge, no fee to go inside and listen to this great music. But on the other side, you know, we do have the Southern Star Music and Arts Festival that's happening at Southern Star Brewery off Fraser Road in Conroe this Saturday with the doors open at noon and going till 1130 midnight, something like that with local guys, local bands. And there's just so much going on all the time. If you haven't been to downtown Conroe, why not? I mean, it, it's just a mecca of great things, um, artistic things. I mean, we have the drama performing arts going on. You heard from the Conroe Art League and some of their shows that they have with 20% going back to the kids for toys with Homestead Furniture Store. So, of course, we have Lone Star Community Radio. This is the place where if you want to find out what's going on, you just need to listen in to all the wonderful shows. He has music, talk shows, all of that. Be a guest on any of the shows. So wrapping it up here on this Monday is Ron Sikowski. And Ron actually has an office here in downtown Conroe, too. Right, Ron? The uh, Corner Pub is a 106-year-old building, and it's haunted. It is not. Oh, you wouldn't believe the really? sounds I hear. <laughs> so, so you are actually representing the Conroe Downtown Area Association. What is that? Conroe Downtown Area Association is like a merchant's association. And they're getting involved in all the downtown merchants and attorneys and engineers uh, to help promote the downtown Conroe area, provide events for people to come to, provide all kinds of interesting concepts like on February 21st, 1911, the entire downtown burned down. So now we have this annual event and the merchants put on fire sales and the restaurants sell firehouse chili and hot wings in the bars whether they sell fire water and so and the fire department's down there too oh yeah the fire department's down there the kids get to climb up and down mm-hmm. all over the the fire trucks apparatus and mm-hmm. the, okay you're uh, <laughs> the wife of a fire chief i understand fast yes <laughs> so but you also have a lot of events that you put on with the downtown association and some of those events, one of them, well, actually, you have two events this week. Two of them, actually, and then uh, we'll actually three. Don't you have we three have, events this don't week? Don't we have a Thursday, first Thursday? That's next week, yes. Is it next week? It is next week. Thank okay. goodness. Uh. <laughs> December 7th, the first Thursday of every month, we have the Farmer's Market from oh, 4 to 8 yeah, 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 yeah. over by the Owen Theater at Founders Plaza. I'm getting my dates mixed up. That's okay. I'll keep you straight. I need, I need, I need help. It's, it's my job is to keep it all intact. Yeah. I'm, who's, I'm left-handed. Who's on first? I'm left-handed. Are you left-handed? 
Yes, I am left-handed, well, that, and I'm Polish. I'm okay. an engineer. All right, now I'm a I wino, understand. and my wife says, male, I've got these strikes against me. That's right. But you do have good wine. Oh, yes. You have And I share, wine. too. I know you do. I make my wine. I, yeah. I've had some of your wine. Yeah. It's excellent. So let's talk about the first event. The first event is tomorrow. Yes, and I will be the town crier announcing all the different events throughout the downtown area. So if you want to have some fun with the kids, uh, come downtown, watch the uh, tall tree in Heritage Plaza get lit up, and then there'll be carriage rides where people can go through the downtown, uh, hay rides for the kids, go visit the various merchants. They have decorated their windows in grand a Christmas style. I was amazed. I'm walking down the street looking at all these windows and I'm humming Christmas songs to myself as I'm coming. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It just makes down you here. feel good, doesn't yes, it? it? I mean, it's so much fun walking through downtown Conroe. It, it, it's one of those things that I, when I was growing up as a kid, we had brick paved streets. We have that here. Brick sidewalks. We have that here. We had a lot of downtown merchants. We have that here. We have a lot of different fun events, old Americana kind of music events, and also just plain old uh, good, wholesome events. There's nothing for families. For, definitely for all family oriented. Absolutely. Such as we had the Halloween trick or treating. <laughs> we had the scavenger hunt. These oh, things were the all free. Scavenger hunt was just amazing. I was surprised at how many people were down there. Uh, and it's gotten to the point right now where you, you know, you may have to drive around the block more than once to find a parking space on a Saturday over here. But you can shop down here. I know that uh, there was an article in the Courier this week about some people that came down to shop for Black Friday or Saturday, small business Saturday, small and business, they can park yeah. right here next to the venue of where they want to go shopping and then walk around here. I mean, it, it's a nice little community. Uh, Cowtown Couture had a bunch of things on sale. That's a great boutique. Branding Iron has unique items that uh, you can't find other places in Conroe. I mean, shirts that say Conroe, Lake Conroe on them. Tiger, Conroe Tiger shirts, things like that, too. So there's a lot of unique things, not to mention there's three venues that have live entertainment. There's six restaurants. Of course, you can go to Carmelita's and get tamales. Oh, lay. <laughs> and they had the best tamales. I tell you, we had a lot of Christmas uh, functions coming up and I love their tamales for these Christmas functions. They're really good. And oh, absolutely. They're, they're not your little bitty buy in the store kind of tamales They're they're handmade and they're just totally awesome. They with a little bit of attitude to them. And attitude is good. And she was mm -hmm. going to be selling those also at Founders Plaza tomorrow night at the big Christmas on Main. And then she will also be at the farmer's market as she always is uh, next week at, at that so tell tell me a little bit about the Southern Star Music and Arts Festival. Well, we're going to have bands playing from about noontime on. Caleb and the fried. Homegrown cream. tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. I thought they were fried. They're not fried but tomatoes. It, they're not okay. fried. They're homegrown. Okay. <laughs> He's great. But uh, that band is a local band that's all of a sudden got a lot of regional press. They've won some sort of idol contest. They did. And it wasn't that they were idling around. They were they were being idolized. They did such an outstanding group. And this, this homegrown uh, talent that we have. Well, we have this, a lot of local talent. We do. And it's now starting to come to the front because we have these venues that the talent can be showcased, whether it's the Pacific Yard House or the Red Brick Tavern or the Corner Pub. Absolutely. And I'm just wondering out loud, is there a reason why we can't have somebody on a park bench playing a guitar with an open music case in downtown i'd like to find that out um, I'll, have, I'll have to I, talk to the city i think it'd that. be fine and in fact i'm looking for somebody to play at the farmer's market at christmas carolers or anything else uh next thursday a week from thursday oh, but that yeah. would be fine too chris I, i'd like some christmas music so the bands, besides Caleb, there's also going to be a Folk Family Revival. Amen. And Mason yeah. was on my show last week. He's he's just amazing. He's really, really good. He tends to kind of go more towards um, the uh, folk rock kind of music, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's the Great Trumpets, Stump Juice, Mike Amabil and Run Over Twice, Field of Bronze, Kenny the Spider, a couple of these guys I'm not familiar with. They do more of the indie rock 
kind of thing. But uh, they have a local following, and they're all local people. And people, uh, anybody who's interested can still get tickets from the downtown merchants, right? Oh, yes. And I'm, I was shocked at how inexpensive those are. Those are like $15. $15 now. $15. That's very inexpensive. For all-day entertainment. Yes. Yes, yes. And we're going to have Chamber of Commerce weather, weather. tomorrow. Weather. Yep. Saturday is going to be week. totally awesome. I was looking up at the sky today. There's not a cloud anywhere. No, it's out beautiful there. weather. It's, it's been beautiful weather. Yes. It, it's like this all the time, isn't it, Margie? It is <laughs> all the time, every day, especially Mondays. We don't have rainy days and Mondays. Oh, that's true. <laughs> no. She was my girlfriend, by the way, Karen Carpenter. I had a crush on her when I was growing up. That was a while back. Oh, yes, it that was, was a, while a while back. back. So the neat thing is you can find out all these wonderful events by going to experiencedowntownconroe.com or you can go to our Facebook page, Experience Downtown Conroe, and there's an Isaac Conroe Farmer's Market page to find out all the current events. But the fee for joining the Conroe Downtown Association to get involved is very low, isn't it? Right. It's it's only $75 for merchants, and that's through the end of 2018 if you join right now. And if you're a nonprofit or an individual, it's only like twenty five dollars. That's nothing. So it's vir- virtually nothing. And I was I took my car over to uh, a place called Cars Complete mm-hmm. Auto Repair right. Service. They're going to join. They, oh, they good. Said, oh, we've been trying to figure out how we're going to we can join up with the Conroe Downtown Area Association. Right. So they're very enthusiastic. But I want to talk about tomorrow night because we have yes. all, all kinds talk of talk about one, tomorrow night. Tell me what's things. going on. Because once uh, people are about to leave uh, the venue at the Heritage Plaza after the tree's been lit. As they leave, they're going to get a wooden nickel and a ticket. And so what they're going to do is they're going to go judge the windows, and there's going to be boxes, secured boxes at each of the windows. And Hopefully. so you select the best window, and you put your wooden nickel in there. Uh, and then the tickets, all these tickets are going to go over to a big hopper, <laughs> And we are going to pull out tickets at 815 in Founders Plaza. And you must be present to win. You must be present and alive to win. That's that's a requirement, definitely. (laughs) And uh, a girl's bicycle, a boy's bicycle, and some other presents also will be awarded out at 815 over at Heritage Plaza. And some of the streets are going to be closed, I think, around Heritage Plaza to to accommodate the people that are there. And the, the horse... Carriages are going to be running around to at least 8.30 that night. Get your picture taken with a white steed or hop on one of the two hay, uh, hay rides, hay rides, hay wagons. There's going to be have. pictures with Mr. and Mrs. Santa, not uh, Mr. And Mrs. Snowman. You oh. can go talk to Santa at Mimi's. Oh, yes. And I understand that he has been making a list and he's been checking it twice. And so he knows who's been... Naughty and nice. Exactly. And you know what <laughs> I got last year from Santa? I got a diamond starter set from Santa. You know what that is? No. It was a big lump of coal under a lot of time and a lot of pressure. It'll start to turn into a diamond. Really? Really. Okay. So I, believe I got you. a big lump of coal okay. <laughs> that we've been putting a lot of pressure on. That. So it's a lot of fun things. And, and so people have asked, is the hay rides free? Yes. Carriage rides free? Yes. All of this is free. So come down. Enjoy all that downtown Conroe has to offer. This is the mayor's wish to kind of make it like a Hallmark Christmas. And it's going to be wonderful, right? It's not only going to be wonderful, but it's free, free, free. It's free, free but there's no snow. There's not going to be any snow. I can almost promise you that. There will. There may be a snow job or two, but no, no white stuff coming down. However, there will be free hot cocoa and wassail and... Cookies, finger foods and all kinds things of like that. stuff. So you got to go out to visit the various merchants that are that are having these these foods out there. And the Owen Theater is going to be open, and the historical Crichton Theater is going to be open. It's going to be a lot of fun for people and kids, especially kids, are more than welcome to come to this event. And I don't know, let's bring your puppy dog too, as long as they're well behaved. Well, you got I guess your so. Bags. Keep them outside. So this is all brought to you by the Conroe Downtown Area Association. And again, you can find out more about what's going on because we do a monthly calendar. It's usually outside all the venues. You can get some at City Hall, pick some up because they're always dropped up over there or at the chamber building. 
And uh, you can go to experiencedowntownconroe.com and stay in the loop of everything that's happening. So I, I appreciate Ron Sikowski coming on here and informing us of everything that's going on in downtown Conroe. He's a reoccurring guest because he's a man about town and he's just in the know. But next week we will hear from uh, a new merchant, Mama J's Unique Treasures, Jody. We will hear from Kelly Taylor with Connecting Conroe Business Women and maybe a surprise guest or two. You just never know. So you got to stay tuned to Conroe Culture News on Facebook and listen up to the uh, SoundCloud on our page on IRLoneStar.com. I am Margie Taylor, your host, and we will see you again next Monday. <laughs>